Hello, this is Chad St. Clair with Corby. The Qualified Opportunity Zone as an individual tax saving strategy allows taxpayers to invest their unrealized capital gains in an Opportunity Zone to create tax savings. Opportunity Zones were created as part of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act to spur economic development in some of the country's most depressed areas by offering tax incentives to investors in any of the 8,700 designated Opportunity Zones through a Qualified Opportunity Fund. These zones are low-income census tracts designated by the U.S. Treasury and include both rural and urban communities in all 50 states and five U.S. territories. This strategy does have some negatives. The investor must be willing to hold the investment in the Opportunity Fund for a significant amount of time. Since investments require a minimum five-year commitment, money placed into a Qualified Opportunity Zone Fund is somewhat illiquid until the fund's disposition of capital structure is completed. There are also a limited number of investment choices. There are three different ways investors can achieve tax savings from Opportunity Zones. First, investors can defer tax on any previously generated capital gains. Investors can place these gains into an Opportunity Zone fund, and those gains will not be taxed until the earliest of either the fund is sold or December 31st, 2026. Second, investors can receive a step up in basis by maintaining their investment in the Opportunity Zone. A step up in basis means that the taxpayer will not have to pay tax on that portion of the investment. Investors will receive an additional 10% in stepped up original basis for capital gains that are kept in the Opportunity Zone Fund for five years. They will receive a 15% step up in the original basis for funds for seven years. Third, if the taxpayer holds the investment in the Opportunity Fund for at least 10 years, the investor would be eligible for an increase in basis equal to the fair market value of the investment on the date that it is sold or exchanged. In other words, they would not have to pay capital gains taxes on their initial investment. The takeaway is the longer the investments are held in the Opportunity Zone, the greater the benefit to the Qualified Opportunity Fund and its investors.